Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the post-qualifying press conference for the sixth round of the FIA World Endurance Championship. Uh, a fantastic qualifying session, so close between uh, the protagonists in all the classes. And we'll go straight into our overall and LMP1. Paul Sitters, Marcel Fessler and Andre Lotter for Audi Sport Team Just. Um, great job, guys. Third pole position of the, of the season after Silverstone and Nürburgring. Marcel, you started. Um, Combined time of 1 minute 48.842 for you guys. Um, a 1 2 for Audi, a great team day for, for Audi Sport today. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, we did show already the pace in the, in the free practice. Uh, the car is really, uh, I have to say, fantastic to drive, especially in the fast part. It's really enjoyable. Uh, in quality mode with the low fuel, it was, yeah, it was like a roller coaster, you have to say. It was really good fun. Uh, yeah, we managed to to do a one-two, and I think it's a great achievement for Audi, especially for we are quite happy for our crew because they had to work yesterday night quite long. Uh, so it's a, yeah, a big award for them uh, from our side to get us a, such a such a fast car. Well done, Marcel, and good luck tomorrow in the race. On right, you took over. Uh, the car looked, as Marcel said, absolutely nailed through the the quick stuff. Was was it really fun to drive? You you could. Really use all the grip out there today. Yeah, I can only copy what Marcel said. Uh, really nice car to drive, especially through the first sector. It's uh, it's very planted. Uh, the the guys from the aero department did a really uh, good job with our car, and it's efficient as well. Hopefully, uh, it'll be the same uh, for the race. This is uh, it's time to win again. Well done, and good luck tomorrow, Andre. Thank you very much. Moving over to our LMP1 privateer duo from Rebellion Racing in the R1. AER. Guys, pole position, you're creeping back up to the uh, championship points lead. You need to finish this this weekend, but things seem to go really well. Uh, Alexander, you started. Uh, talk us through your qualifying period today in the class. Yeah, I think uh, actually we, we struggled a little bit with the car in qualifying uh, compared to this morning. Probably the track was a bit hotter and uh, we made a few adjustments, which uh, actually should prove positive for the race, but for qualifying it's not 100% ideal. Uh, nonetheless, I think we had uh, two proper laps and very close actually uh, from each other, and it was we were comfortably ahead of the colors. Like you say, uh, you know, we need to finish the race. We're not really thinking about the championship, to be honest. We're just trying to do clean races at the moment and uh, and keep the, the boys in the garage and the cheer about. Well done, good job. And um, moving over to Dodo. Dodo, a great run on the back of a great run at Mexico, where you had a. A, a trouble-free run to, to victory. Um, this is a, a pole position and uh, confidence and consolidation for the team uh, for the rest of the season. Yeah, sure. Um, like there's a bit of challenge missing uh, in some way. Um, Collis is getting closer and closer, which is very good. Um, and uh, yeah, we, as Alex said, we're just trying to to do clean laps, clean races, and uh, therefore the qualifying was not bad. We did quite a lot of changes from free practice to qualifying, which, uh, as he said, turned out to be better for for, for the race than for quality. Um, so, yeah, we're still figuring out a bit our setup. Um, and we only used one set of tyres now uh, in qualifying, which is very positive as well. And, yeah, happy to see Collis uh, being uh, only 9-10th off, which is uh, still a decent uh, gap. But they are getting closer, so I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for that. Very good, well done, Dominic. And moving over to our LMP2 pole sitters, remarkably the first pole of the season for you guys. You've ticked off another box, leaving the championship. You've extended the championship lead to 34 points now. Um, Gustavo, you started in the car. Things looked um, pretty serene out there. You're almost a second clear of the opposition. Yeah, I mean, uh, as we we discussed in the press conferences before, you know, fortunately. The team's done a great job, we've had great race results and we knew we needed to work on our one lap pace and we struggled to get goals so far this year so um, it does feel nice to be at the home race and, and get a pole and you know for the team to have that step, the pace was fantastic, the car was great and um, yeah Nico helped me out there to make sure that we uh, solidified that pole. Well done Gus, congratulations, moving over to your teammate Nico Lapierre. Nico, uh, another great job, pole position. How did the car feel out there and, and looking towards tomorrow, how much of a challenge is it going to be both physically and in terms of strategy in the race? Yeah, I have to say the car looks really strong since the beginning of the, of the weekend. 
since the beginning of the year we are fast in the races but we always struggle a bit in qualifying but it looks like here we found something and uh, yeah just already a clear lap so then I just had to, to finish the job it was it was good and yeah we look forward to tomorrow for sure it's different condition than what, what we are used to but uh, we did prepare well and I think it's, it's looking good but we know that the most difficult job is still to be done tomorrow. Of course, well done Nico. And uh, moving over to our LMGTE pole sitters, the uh, the Dane train, as they're branded, uh, Marco Sorensen and Nick, Nicky Tim. Uh, Marco, uh, a hat trick of pole positions. Um, started off at Nurburgring and has continued to Kota. You must be really satisfied with the results today. Talk us through your qualifying. Well, obviously, uh, we are really happy. <laughs> it's the third time up here. Um, we thought it was going to be a little bit more difficult here than in, in Mexico, which it was. I think the whole TTE field was within, I don't know, one, one two tenths or something. Um, and that's that's good for the <laughs> for the sport and uh, yeah, we're happy to be on board. That's that's it basically. Well done Marco. Thanks. And and Nikki as Marco says incredibly close LMGT Pro class not points uh, 0.279 seconds covers the whole field. I mean, incredible competition. But, but from your point of view, you even had time for a bit of a rest at the end there. Is that saving some tyres for, for tomorrow, for the first end? Yeah, you've, we, we always have something in our hands, so uh, we'll see tomorrow. Um, definitely had a good pace. Um, as Marco says, it's getting really close, but uh, the guys are doing a good job. We keep pushing, and um, every time we come to a new weekend, we are. We are bringing up something new, and uh, that's why we can keep being up there. Well done, Nicky. Well done, guys. Um, moving over to number 98, Aston Martin crew. A double pole position for Aston Martin racing today in the GT classes. And Pedro, uh, you started the car. How was how was qualifying for you? Looked like you had the pace, uh, despite a scare with losing losing a lap when, when Paul got in the car. But a great pole for you today in the uh, the AM class. Yeah, it was good. The car was good. Um balanced I mean the track I think was a bit slower than this morning was and uh, we didn't manage to, to, to match the same lap time uh, it was a bit more difficult the track but for everybody I believe what you managed to do a good, I did a good lap time and Paul did uh, a fantastic lap time and uh, that's why we're on board. Congratulations Pedro and Paul third pole position of the season for you and uh, obviously you'll be hunting for a victory, a, a home victory in inverted commas tomorrow, <laughs> closest to uh, your home race. How, how, was, how were your laps? So like I said, I mentioned that, that track limit scare for you, but irrespective of that, you've got pole position. <laughs> sure, yeah, I know it. Um, <laughs> we had a little issue with TC, so I lost TC in my run and uh, made it a little more interesting out there. I got a second, <laughs> but uh, given the, uh, we didn't quite have the experience of the Audi guys <laughs> and on rails, as it were. We're sliding around pretty good anyway, so, you know, I, I think uh, the team's done a great job. We, we obviously wanted to come back from Mexico with uh, uh, not just a, a promise of results, but some real results, so happy to get this one.